Dobro večer. So, we are in Ephesians chapter 5. And we're going to pick up in verse 22. And we'll go to chapter 6, verse 9. We're going to deal with family relationship relationships. Tu će se govoriti o porodičnim odnosima. And so there's a lot of um, good things in there. We're going to talk about marriage. Tu ima puno dobrih stvari. Govorit ćemo o braku. The first thing is the roles of the um, each person in marriage of the spouse. Prva stvar je uloga ljudi koji su u braku, odnosno bračnih drugova. And then um, children as well. I onda dece također. So I'm going to just have Srezdan read verses 22 through 33. Znači od 22 do 33. So if you're reading in English you can read to yourself. Uredom. Žene slušajte svoje muževe kao gospoda, jer je muž glava ženi, kao što je i Hristos glava crkvi, i on je spasitelj tela. No kao što je crkva sluša Hrista, tako i žene svoje muževe u svemu. Muževi, ljubite svoje žene kao što i Hristos ljubi crkvu i sebe predade za nju, da je osveti očistivši je kupanjem vodenijem u reči, da je metne predase slavnu crkvu koja nema mane ni mrštine ili tako čega, nego da bude sveta i bez mane. Tako su dužni muževi ljubiti svoje žene kao svoja telesa, jer koji ljubi svoju ženu, sebe samog ljubi. Jer niko ne omrznu kad na svoje telo, nego ga hrani i grije kao i gospod crkvu. Jer smo udi tela njegova, od mesa njegova i od kostiju njegovih, toga radi ostavit će čovek oca svojega i mater i prilepit će se ženi svojoj i bit će dvoje jedno telo. Tajna je ovo velika, a ja govorim za Hrista i za crkvu. Ali i vi svaki da ljubi onako svoju ženu kao i sebe samoga, a žena da se boji svoga muža. So these um, directives to the spouses are... Pretty explicit. They explain it pretty well. Dakle, ovo su vrlo eksplicitna uputstva za brak, za brak i dobro, dobro eksplicira ono čemu se tu govori. But the foundation for what we're going to study is laid in Genesis. Ali uh, utemeljenje za ovo što sada studiramo je zapravo u, o, ovaj, u knjizi stvaranja. And so hold your finger in that part of Ephesians and turn over to Genesis. We'll look at chapter 2 first. Uh, stavite prst u, u ovdje kod ovog poglavlja Feženima i vratit ćemo se u uh, knjigu stvaranja uh, poglavlje 2. And then we'll come back and look at this a little bit. I onda ćemo se vratiti ponovo u Efežene. But let's pray first. Ajde prvo da se molimo. So Lord, we ask that you would help us to grasp um, these roles that you have purposed for the marriage relationship. Molimo te Gospode da nam pomogneš da shvatimo ove uloge koje si ti odredio da imamo u bračnim odnosima. So we would know how to be better husbands, better wives. Da znamo kako da budemo bolji muževi, odnosno bolje žene. Better mothers, better fathers. Bolje majke, bolji očevi. Lord, we just pray that you would give us understanding, spiritual understanding. Molimo te Gospode da nam daš shvatanje, duhovno shvatanje. In Jesus name. U Isusovo ime. Amen. Amen. So the first thing that I, I want to make sure that we get clear is that there is a oneness in marriage. Uh, prva stvar koju hoće, hoću da jasno shvatimo je da postoji jedinstvo u braku. And we read that verse in verse 31 in Genesis, it comes from Genesis 2 verse 24. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. To imamo i u Efežanima, ali ovdje ćemo se pročitati iz poglavlja 2:24 u knjizi ovaj stvaranja. Zato će ostaviti čovjek oca svoga i mater svoju i prilepit će se ženi svojoj i bit će dvoje jedno telo. It's a simple enough concept, but it's very complicated. To je vrlo jednostavan koncept, međutim to je vrlo komplikovano. And the reason why it's complicated is because people are complicated. A razlog zašto je ovo komplikovano jer su ljudi zapravo komplikovani. I mean, think about this for a second. Ajde da pomislimo o ovome na sekund. What you see up here is a rod. Ovo što vidite ovdje, to je rod. Handsome, huh? <laughs> Vrlo zgodan. <laughs> but you only see the outside. Ali vidite samo spoljašnjost. You know, and I'm, I'm very complex. Ja sam u stvari vrlo kompleksan. On the inside, who I really am, my personality, how I think, how I interpret the world. Unutra koliko sam komplikovan kako ja vidim, kako interpretiram svet. 
You know, I was raised, you guys know, the first 25 years of my life without Jesus. Ja sam odrastao prvi 25 godina svog života bez Isusa. Without any real influence of any kind of religion. Bilo, bez bilo kakvog stvarnog utjecaja bilo koje religije. I went through a lot of struggles. Prošao sam kroz mnogo borbi. My family um, My mom and dad got a divorce. Moji roditelji, moji mama i tata su se razveli. My dad left when he, I was nine years old because of the divorce. Moj otac nas je napustio kad sam imao devet godina zbog razvoda. My mom worked at night. Moja majka je radila noću. So I would get home from school and soon after she would go to work. Ja bi došao kući iz škole i vrlo brzo ona bi otišla da radi. And I'd have to fend, I'd have, we'd, have a, we'd have to fend for ourselves. I onda smo mi bili sami. I praktično smo brinuli sami o sebi i morali smo sebe da odigajemo. I was raised in California. Ja sam odrastao u Kaliforniji. I was born there, I was raised there. Rodio sam se tamo i odrastao sam tamo. You know, and how I viewed the world was influenced by genetics partially. I način na koji sam video svet je bio delom u, u, pod uticajem moje genetike. But also I, I was shaped by my environment. Ali i moje okruženje me zapravo oblikovalo. And then I, I moved, I became a Christian, and then I moved to Hungary and then here to Serbia. Ali onda sam postao hrišćanin i preselio sam se u Mađarsku i onda potom ovdje u Srbiju. And then my, my world view began to change more and how I viewed things, how I interpret interpreted life. I onda se moj pogled na svet počeo još više menjati, način na koji sam interpretirao život se sve više menjao. And then I met this girl. I onda sam sreo devojku. She is, her name was Juja. Njeno ime je bilo Juja. And I saw her. I vidio sam je. And you know, I saw her on the outside. And... I vidio sam je spolja. Tarzan, Tarzan. Ni Tarzan, you Jane. Ja Tarzan ti Jane. And then, you know, but then Juja was on the inside who she really is. Ali onda imamo i Juju unutra, ko je ona stvarno? And so I had to get to know her. I onda sam trebao nju da upoznam. Now she was born and raised in Zrenjanin. Ona je rođena i odrasla u Zrenjaninu. She was uh, not a Christian, she didn't grow up a Christian. Ona nije bila hrišćanin. Her mom, I think they were Catholic. Njeni roditelji, mama je bila katolik. And they did her mom and dad didn't get a divorce. Oni they get their divorce? They didn't. Oni se nisu razvili, bili su katolici, so nisu se razvili. She was raised in that environment in in Zrenjanin. I bila je znači odrasla u tom okruženju u Zrenjaninu. She went to school in Zrenjanin. Školu u Zrenjaninu. And she, you know, grew up and learned how to interpret life. Odrasla you know, partially je. because of genetics and partially because of her environment. Odrasla je i naučila je kako da tumači život delom zbog svoje genetike, ali delom i zbog tog okruženja koje je okruživalo. And then God takes me out of this environment where, where here's Rod. I onda Bog uzima mene iz mog okruženja, to je Rod. And here's Juja, he takes Juja. I onda on uzima Žužu iz njenog okruženja. And he says, okay, now you two are going to be one. I onda kaže, e sad ćete vas zove da budete jedno. That was, you know, that, that was, that, that, that's tough, that's hard. Mogu vam reći da je to dosta tvrda stvar, It's dosta teško. It's not easy to become one with somebody, you know. Nije lako postati jedno sa nekim. There's a lot that goes into becoming one with somebody. Two shall become one flesh. Mnogo je potrebno da bismo mi postali jedno i postali jedno telo. God, that's how God sees us right from the beginning. When we're married, we're one. Ali Bog nas tako vidi od samog početka, mi smo... Mi smo u braku, Just to show you how jedno. much God thinks that we're one, if you look at Job, you don't have to turn there, I'll tell you the story. Ali okrenimo samo pogledamo u Jobu, da vidimo koliko je tu You know, you, you probably know the story where Satan approaches God and, and God is bragging on his servant Job. Vi znate priču gdje ovaj, Sotona ide kod Boga i Bog se praktično hvali Have sa svojim slugom. Have you considered my servant Job? He's Job. just a great guy. Da li si vidio mog sluga Job? Well, he's a great guy for a reason, Satan divan, said. You protect čovjek. him, you know, you know. A Sotona mu kaže, pa da, ima razloga što je tako divan. And so, um, the Lord said, well, go ahead, all that he has is in your hand. I kaže Bog, evo, idi, sve što ima, uzmi, sve u tvojim rukama. And Job had the worst day of a person's life in the history of mankind. 
I jo bi imao najgori dan u istoriji čovečanstva za bilo kojeg čoveka. You think you have, have had bad days. Možda misliš da si ti nekad imao neki težak dan. We've all had bad days. We've svi, all had evil days. Svi smo imali teške ili čak zle dane. How do we stand in the evil day? You know, in Ephesians chapter 6, we'll learn that when Mike gets up here. Kako stojimo u tom zlom danu? Učit ćemo to u poglavlju šest Efežana. But in one day, everything was taken from him. Ali Jobu je u jednom danu sve od njega bilo uzeto. His livestock, all of his livestock, all of his possessions. Ceo njegov način života, sva njegova imovina. All of his children. Sva njegova deca. Wiped away. Bili su prosto obrisani. Then later on, you know, um, his health. He, God allowed Satan to even attack his head. u drugom naletu je Bog dozvolio Sotoni da mu čak utiče i na zdravlje. So he has nothing. Sa njim ništa. Except for a bunch of boils all over his body that he's taking a piece of pottery and scraping them with. I onda još ima i te čireve po, po telu pa je uzeo deo keramike da ih struži sa sebe. Nothing is there anymore. Nema ništa Stripped više. Clean. Sve je, o, sve je skinuto sa njega. But there's so somebody that's a, on the scene. Ali tu vidimo nekog u toj sceni. His wife said, um, "Do you still hold fast to your integrity?" Njegova, njegova žena, ti još uvijek se držiš uz Boga. Curse God. Prokuni and Boga die. i umri. And at that time maybe Job was wondering why she was still there. <laughs> u tom trenutku se Job čudio <laughs> zašto je ona još uvijek ovdje. But God said, "All that is in your power all that he has is in your power. Znači Bog je rekao Satani sve što on ima je u tvojoj vlasti. Only do not lay a hand on his person. Jedino nemoj na njegovu 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 And in God's mind the two shall become one flesh. Satan couldn't touch her either. Satana nije mogao da dira ni njegovu ženu. So I've been married now 20 plus years. Our 20th year anniversary anniversary was March 26th. Ja sam evo 20 godina oženjen. How many people were at my wedding? Koliko ih je bilo na našem pričanju? Koliko vas je bilo? Yes. Ima, ima. It was an all-night wedding party. That was da. great. Divna žurka. 20, you know, and we've had a lot of rough patches in I, these 20 years. Imali smo dosta teških trenutaka u ovi 20 godina. Trying to learn how to become one, how to live a life together, carve out a life da, together. Pokušali smo da naučimo kako da živimo zajedno, kako da budemo jedno. You know, and it, it takes a lot of work to be able to do that. It just doesn't happen. Potrebno je mnogo rada da bi se to desilo. To se ne dešava tek tako. But what you have to do is you have to make your new family unit your priority. Ti treba da postaviš svoje novo porodično jedinstvo kao svoj prioritet. You need to leave your father and mother. Treba da napustiš oca i majku. And cleave to your wife or treba, your husband. I treba da priđeš da budeš sa svojim mužem ili odnosno ženom. You know, many times marriages suffer because one of the spouses is always bringing the in-laws into the marriage into that unit često brakovi pate zbog toga što jedno od od dvoje u paru unosi nekoga sa svoje strane u porodicu you know they they can't ever really leave oni jednostavno ne mogu da napuste svoje roditelje you know it's not that you have to not ever be with your former family but you have a priority now of a family unit. This is now your priority. To ne znači da se treba potpuno da napustiš one ljude, ali ovo je tvoja sad porodica, tvoj prioritet. And sometimes you have to protect that new family unit. I ponekad moraš da zaštitiš to novo jedinstvo porodično. Sometimes in-laws want to get in there and they want to help, but they actually do more harm than good. Tvoji, tvoji ovaj, rođaci ponekad ili roditelji hoće da učine nešto dobro, međutim oni na, učine nažal tvoje porodice. And so that's the first thing that I want you to understand in, in the foundation of marriage is that there is a oneness. To je prva stvar koju hoću da naučite za utemeljenje te porodice, a to je jedinstvo. The two become one flesh. Dvoje postaju jedno telo. And the longer that we are married, the more one we become, don't we? I što smo duže u braku, s tim postajemo više jedno. The second thing is in Genesis chapter 1. Druga stvar je u uh, stvaranju, poglavlje 1. Verse 26 through 28. 26 do 28. Potom reče Bog da načinimo čoveka po svom obličju kao što smo mi, koji će biti gospodar od riba morskih i od tica nebeskih i od stoke i od cele zemlje i od svih životinja što se miču na, po zemlji. I stvori Bog čoveka po obličju svom, po obličju Božijem stvori ga, muško i žensko stvori ih. 
I blagoslovi Bog i reče im Bog, rađajte se i množite se i napunite zemlju i vladajte njom i budite gospodari od riba morskih i od tica nebeskih i od sveg zverinja što se miče po zemlji. So the second thing that you find is, is, is equality. Druga stvar koju tu pronalazimo je jednakost. This is the first mention in the Bible concerning human beings. Ovo je prvo spominjanje ljudskih bića u Bibliji. When you study the Bible, there is something that's called first mention. Kada studiraš Bibliju, postoji jedna stvar kao što je prvo spominjanje nečega. And the first mention of a topic usually gives you some very valuable insight into whatever to- topic it is. Prvo spominjanje bilo koje teme ti uvek donosi jedan duboki uvid u tu temu, odnosno tu stvar koju se prvi put spominje. When it says, let us make man in our image, that word comes from Adam. Kada kaže, stvorimo čoveka na, po svom obličju, and Adam can mean either mankind in general. Onda se govori o Adamu koji može da bude ili čovečanstvo uopšteno. Or it can refer to the first man, Adam. Ili može da referiše ta, to ime može da referiše na prvog pojedinca tog čovečanstva, to je čovek. In our passage, Adam. in our passage here, he let us make mankind in our image. Na ovom mestu se zapravo govori, ajde da stvorimo čovečanstvo po našem obličju. Let us make human beings in our image. Ajde da stvorimo image. ljudska bića po našem obličju. And God gave mankind a direction in life from the beginning. I Bog je dao uputstvo čovečanstvu od samog početka. And that is to um in verse 26 there let us make man let him have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air and over the cattle over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth i on kaže dajmo mu dominion dajmo mu da ima vlast nad svime ribama morskim pticama nebeskim stoki i tako dalje so he gave us stewardship mankind stewardship da, over the planet really dao nam je uh, pravo upravljanja nad planetom over god's creation nad stvorenjem and he also gave us a directive to be fruitful and multiply i dao nam je uputstvo da budemo plodni odnosno da se umnožimo da Notice se množimo. at this point though there's no separate distinction you know of roles tu nema uh, te ovaj posebne odredbe uloga muškarac žena At this point in the story all it is is God is giving mankind his direction to be a steward over the planet to be fruitful and multiply. Tu se zapravo govori o tom uputstvu čovečanstvu da bude upravitelj nad planetom na stvorenjem na svime stvorenim i da bude da se umnoži. So at our foundation before we get into Ephesians we have these two things we have the oneness in the marriage Znači, pre nego što uđemo u Efežene, imamo u ovom utemeljenju uh, teme, imamo jedinstvo u braku and we have equality. i imamo je, jedin, uh, uh, jednakost. You know, and these, you, if you miss the mark on these, you're going to mess up your marriage. Ako promašiš ovu metu, ti ćeš da zeznaš svoj brak. If in your eyes one is better than the other, male or female, whichever one, you know you're you're not going to be successful. Jer ako uspostaviš da je jedno ili drugo veće od onoga drugoga, onda neće biti uspešan brak. And Paul kind of reiterated this in Galatians chapter 3. Gala, uh, u Galatijanima poglavlje 3 Pavle je ovo nekako uh, ponovio. Verse 28 says there's neither Jew nor Greek, there's neither slave nor free, there's neither male nor female. Uh, uh, 328 Galatians 3. 28, aha. Uh-huh. Nema tu jevrejna ni grka, nema roba ni gospodara, nema muškog roda ni ženskog, jer ste vi svi jedno u Hristu. There's an equality in God's eyes, you know. I tu postoji to jedinstvo pred Bogom. Now in chapter 2, u poglavlju 2, you get a little bit more detailed account. Imamo malo detaljnije ovaj izveštaj. And um, I'm going to have stretch and read 18 through 25. Uh, second chapter of Genesis. Yes, back in Genesis. I reče Gospod Bog nije dobro da je čovek sam da mu načinim druga prema njemu. Jer Gospod Bog stvori od zemlje sve zveri poljske i sve ptice nebeske i dovede Adamu da vidi kako će koje nazvati. Pa kako Adam nazove koju životinju, onako da je bude ime. I Adam nadede ime svakom živinčetu i svakoj ptici nebeskoj i svakoj zveri poljskoj, ali se ne nađe Adamu drug prema njemu. I Gospod Bog pusti tvrd san na Adama te zaspa, pa mu uze jedno rebro i mesto popuni mesom. I Gospod Bog stvori žen od rebra koje uz Adamu i, i dovede je k Adamu. So, in order to grasp a little bit of this, we're going to do a couple of word studies. Ajde da kažemo nekoliko studija reči ovde. You know, the first thing he says, it is not good that man is alone. 
prvo kaže nije dobro da je čovjek sam and i work at a bible college ja radim u biblijskom koledžu and all these boys live in dorms i momci žive u spavonama and if you ever doubt that men should not live alone this go into one of those dorms <laughs> ako si kad sumnjao da muškarci ne treba da, da žive sami onda idi u jednu tih spavonica they need someone to help they need some serious help njima je, njima je potrebna vrlo ozbiljna neka pomoć <laughs> but this word means it has a, the idea of part or portion ali ovde ova reč zapravo ima veze sa delom odnosno it, delom nečega it can refer to just a limb or just a little piece of 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 a, of a cloth može da se govori zapravo o jednom udu ili o nekom delu dela a part from or aside from deo ili strana nečega so you get the idea right that in essence adam was missing something at this point i možete da dobijete tu ideju zapravo da je u tom trenutku Adamu nešto nedostajalo fizički. Something wasn't quite right. I nešto zapravo nije bilo u redu. He's probably, you know, thinking as he naming all the animals and seeing two of them wondering what's going on here. You know? Kad je Adam imenovao sve te životinje, on je video po dvoje od svake životinje i onda je razmišljao nešto ovde nije u redu. So God says that it is not good that man dwells alone. I onda Bog kaže nije dobro da čovek odnosno Adam da prebiva sam. Marriage cures one thing. Ovde je potreban brak. That's loneliness. Jer on je sam. We were created for companionship. Mi smo stvoreni za zajedništvo, za partnerstvo. You know after getting saved I didn't get married for seven years. Ja kada sam se spasao nisam se oženio 7 godina. When I lived back in America before coming here I lived in a house with five other guys. Ja dok sam bio u Americi živeo sam u kući sa još pet momaka. We had a home fellowship where there was 80 kids coming to the home fellowship. Imali smo kućno zajedništvo gdje dolazilo 80 roditelja. I moved to the mission field and I was um, you know living with other missionaries. I was always living around people. Postao sam misionar i od sam na to polje i stalno sam bio okružen ljudima u misiji. I had a relationship with Jesus Christ. I mos sam odnos sa Isusom Hristom. I had relationships with other believers, friends. I mos sam odnos sa drugim vernicima, odnosno sa prijateljima. But all of those seven years I still had a sense of loneliness, being alone. Ali sve vreme sam imao osjećaj usamljenosti, bio sam sam. I I longed for companionship i wasn't created to be alone judeo sam za partnerom bio sam nisam bio stvoren da budem sam and then god brought juja i onda je bog doneo doveo žužu somebody who is comparable for me neko ko je bio uporediv sa me sam za mene someone to correspond with me we fit together neko ko mi je odgovarao mi smo odgovarali jedno drugom a male and a female they fit together muško i žensko pripadaju odgovaraju jedno drugom You know, just think of eat Adam there naming the animals and seeing two of them and just being where's mine. Zamislite samo Adama koji imenuje životinje i stalno vidi parove, a gde je moj par? And that's when Adam gave his first Tarzan call, wasn't it? To je to bio trenutak kada je Adam dao svoj prvi tarzanski poziv. He woke up in the little side. Probudio se. I vidi uf tu mi nešto fali sa strane. Oh, oh, that's what's going on here. Ah, to se tu dešava. My bone and my bone and flesh of my flesh. De, telo mog tela, kost moje kosti. He, you know, and it just fit together. They fit together. Prosto se uklapaju zajedno, za dobri su zajedno. But the thing that implies roles in this passage is Ali, that Eve was created as a helper. Ali stvar koja ovdje podrazumeva uloge je to da je Eva bila stvorena kao pomoćnica, pomoćnik. There is equality. Postoji jednakost. But there are roles. Ali postoje uloge. God brings order to chaos. Bog unosi red u haos. And God always has order for his creation. I Bog uvek ima red za svoje stvorenje, za svoju kreaturu. All you have to do is look at science a little bit and you see this great vast universe and you see it all working together in order it, there's order to it. Pogledamo ovu prirodu ovaj univerzum i videćemo da tu postoji zakonitost da postoji red u njemu. Is this not some big bang and everything just happened to fall into place? No there's order to the whole thing. The more you look the more you see it. Nije to neki slučaj neki big bang i onda se sve padne na svoje mesto nego tu postoji jedan red postoji plan. And so God creates this human human beings male and female and he brings order 
for us. Bog stvara muško i žensko i stvara red za nas. This is how it can work. Ovo kako to, evo, ovo je način kako to treba da funkcioniše, da radi. Helper, you know, just means somebody who gives relief or assistance. Pomoćnik je onaj koji daje olakšanje, koji asistira u nečemu. A helper means just what it says, a helper. To, ta reč zapravo znači to što kaže pomoćnik. It implies more of a follower than it, than it does a leader. Pomo- to je više jedan uh, sledbenik nego vođa. If you're a helper, you're going to help someone get to where maybe they believe they're, where they're where they're going. Uh, to je kao kad bi pomagao nekome kada idemo negde da vidimo kuda idemo. But I want you to understand something. Ali hoću da shvatite nešto. Don't get carried away with this concept. Nemojte da vas ovaj koncept zanese. In Ephesians, or, uh, 1 Corinthians 11 verse 3. In, in which? 11, 1 Corinthians. Aha, 1 Corinthians 11. Uh, 3. 3. 1 Corinthians 3. 11. 3. Okay. I tried. It says, but I want you to know that the, that the head of every man is Christ, the head of woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. Ali hoću da znate da je svakome mužu glava Hristos, a muž je glava ženi, a Bog je glava Hristu. So remember that there's oneness, but even in this oneness there's structure. Uh, iako je ovo jedinstvo, u tom jedinstvu postoji struktura. God has given us an operator's manual for how these things function right. Bog nam je dao operacijalno uputstvo kako ovo mora da funkcioniše. Of the Bible. A, zove se Biblija. And so we know that God the Father and God the Son are equal. Mi znamo da su Bog Otac i Bog Sin jednaki. You guys all see, you know, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy, they're, they're equal. Vidimo da su jednaki Bog Otac, Bog Sin i Bog Sveti Duh. But Jesus still humbled himself in submission to the Father in the divine order or the divine structure. Ali se, ali se Isus ponizio i uh, u, u toj strukturi uh, Bog, Bog Sin. He wanted to exemplify what this looks like. On je teo da nam pokaže uh, kako to treba da izgleda. Not my will, but your will be done. Ne moja volja, nego tvoja volja da se čini. At the head of man is Christ. I, sorry? At the head of man is Christ. Na, na, če, uh, glava uh, čoveku je Hrist. Um, this is obvious. To je očigledno. But we will see that it really helps us to be the the husband that we're supposed to be when we understand this concept. Ali ovo nam zapravo pomaže da shvatimo ceo koncept uh, značenja šta to znači biti muž. Christ is my head. He's over me. Bog je, Isus je moj gospodar. On we'll je, on je iznad mene. How does, how does he... Um, exemplify headship. On, Isus ovdje pokazuje kako egzemplificira se zapravo vodstvo. And how he does it with me is how I'm to do it with my spouse to because savršen, I'm the head of the woman. To je savršen primjer kako se on odnosi prema meni tako ja treba da se odnosim prema mojoj ženi. And when the ženi. woman understands this then it enables her to perform her role in the marriage. I onda kad žena to shvati onda i ona shvata kako treba svoju ulogu u braku but, da radi. But just remember this that these things the way god wants it to be done you know it's going to be attacked ali samo da znate jednu stvar način na koji bog hoće ovo da se dešava će biti napadnut ovo će biti napadnut here that are married have ever had little trouble in it <laughs> koliko vas koji ste u braku ste imali po neki problem u braku i do a lot of yeah oh he's right now me back here <laughs> oh sorry chris it's tough you know and in Satan is attacking the family all the time. Teško je, teško je na stalno napada porodicu. You know that's kind of a fab, one of the fabrics of our of our culture of our society. Porodica je tkivo naše naše društva, naše naše kulture. If you look at the statistics, children that are raised in broken homes end up in more um trouble with drugs and other things. Deca koja su odrasla u slomljenim uh, domovima, brakovima, imaju više problema sa drogom i ostalim problemima, so, ostalim stvarima. My point is is that you're going to have to fight for your marriage. Moja moja tačka je zapravo moja poenta je da morate se boriti za svoj brak. You have to fight the devil. Treba da se borite s djavolom. Because the devil is going to try to destroy your marriage. Jer će djavol svakako pokušati da uništi vaš brak. And you fight that with the weapons that God has given you. A to radimo oružjima koje nam je Bog dao. Seeking him in his word, seeking him in prayer. Tražimo ga u njegovoj reči, tražimo ga u molitvi. So now we get back to our study in Ephesians with this foundation being laid. Sa ovim temeljem koji smo sada izlili vraćamo se u Efežane.
Read verses 22 through 24 again. 22 do 24 ponovo. Jer je muž glava ženi, kao što je i Hristos glava crkvi i on je spasitelj tela. No, kao što je crkva sluša Hrista, tako i žene svoje muževe u svemu. So now we can see this is how we were created. Wives were to be the helper. Znači, način kako smo stvoreni je da žene treba da budu pomoćnice muškarcima. And that is, um, you know, giving preference or yielding to the direction of the man. To znači da se pokore uh, uputstvu, to jest pravcu koje muškarac odredi. Submit comes from a word that is a military term. Uh, to, uh, to ovaj, uh, da, se, da se pokore, to je zapravo ima veze sa vojnim terminom. You know, to rank under da budu u tom rangu ispod kao oficiri. How many people of here have ever been in the army? Koliko je ljudi ovdje bilo zapravo u vojsci? Yes, in my church back home, there are a lot of military people. U mojoj crkvi kod kuće ima jako puno vojnika. Actually, the guy that I brought, Bald Sean, was a former marine. Videli ste moj ovaj asistent, on je bivši marinac. And there's an order in military, there's a structure. Postoji red, odnosno struktura u vojsci. And that's one of the things they drive in the military is to understand that there's purpose, there's reason for the structure. You can't, you can't, you know, buck the system. Uh, jedna od vrlo važnih stvari u vojsci je da postoji svrha zašto postoji ta ovaj, subordinacija i ako je ne bi bilo došlo bi do ovaj, poluđivanja sistema. If you, if you do, then the whole, the whole system is at stake. I onda bi prosto ceo sistem bi bio ovaj, uh, u problemu ako neko ne bi bilo posluha, odnosno ordinacija. So that is the role of the woman, to be a helper. To je dakle uloga žene da bude pomoćnica. To be submissive da bude pokorna. Now unfortunately, it doesn't give wise the choice to be submissive when the husband maybe not being the husband that God wants him to be. Ali na svu sreću postoji tu sloboda u tom momentu kada žena vidi da muž muž nije u skladu s onim što Bog hoće da on bude. You don't want to be submissive to a man that is asking you to do something that is against God's will. Jednostavno ne možeš biti pokorna muškarcu koji radi nešto protiv reči Božje. You never protiv bo- volje Božje. You always obey God rather than man. Prvo treba da slušamo Boga, a tek posle muškarca. But we need to be women need to be submissive to their husbands. You know, you need to be careful who you choose for a husband. I zato moramo biti, moramo biti vrlo pažljivi koga biramo za muža, jer treba da budemo pokorni mužu. Žene žure ponekad i umjesto da sačekaju da budu strpljive na Boga, one uh, nestrpljivo ne se udaju i onda imaju posle probleme i žao im je što su se udale. Because they want that cure for the loneliness treba im lek za samoću za usamljenost i onda umjesto da sačekaju da Bog obezbedi one uzimaju stvari u svoje ruke i onda umjesto da izleče svoju tu svoju usamljenost one zapravo završe u neredu so we need to do this we need to do it as unto the lord mi zapravo treba znači to da radimo u skladu sa božom voljom do with a good heart be a good a good Wife. Znači, budi dobra žena. Verse 33 says, let the wife see that she respects her husband. Uh, 33, ali vi svaki da ljubi onako svoju ženu kao i sebe samoga. Now I've seen women who have publicly made comments about their husband. Ja sam vidio žene koje su javno komentarisali svoje muževe. Negative comments. Negativne komentare. And it's the worst thing, you know, it kind of emasculates the man. You know, it, it strips some of his manhood, you know what I mean? It's just, it's shameful. It's sinful. And it's wrong, you shouldn't do that, you can't do that. And so then it says to the husbands, love your wives, in verse 25, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. Ali onda kaže muškarcima, ljubite svoje žene kao što i Hristos ljubi crkvu i sebe predade za nju. 
znači Hrist je glava čoveku. Ti jesi glava ženi, ali ti moraš da, da daš, moraš da činiš to vojstvo kao što je Hrist tebi. And so he says, Love your wives. I znači kaže, ljubi svoju ženu. It doesn't say um, the word isn't like a phileo love. To nije ona phileo kao prijateljska ljubav. Just a stergio or an eros, the sexual love. To nije ni phileo, nije ni eros, nije ni ta ovaj seksualna ljubav. You know, sometimes husbands say yes, um, let's, I'm on eros. You know, and that's where they leave it. Um, da, ponekad se tu završi samo na tom erosu. But it, agape your wife. Ali tu se govori o agape, voli svoju ženu agape. Choice, beyond your will, beyond what you feel right now to show love, to act lovingly. Napravi taj izbor da da pokažeš ljubav, da deluješ u ljubavi u svojoj volji. Just as Christ loved you. Baš ono kako je tebe Hrist volio, preko onoga tela. gave himself for you. That's how we are to um, perform our role as the head of the woman. To je zapravo način kako mi radimo svoju ulogu, izvršavamo svoju ulogu kao glava ženi. How Christ works in my life is, you know, he cares about me. Kako Hrist radi u mom životu, on njemu je stalo do mene. He, I know he thinks about what's best for me. On stalno razmišlja o tome što je najbolje za mene. I can trust him, I can give him everything and 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 and, and I know he's going to lead me in, in the right way. Ja, ja mu mogu verovati, ja mu mogu predati sve i znam da će me voditi u pravom smeru. And if you're doing your job as a husband, I ako ti radiš svoj posao, and you're loving your muž, wife, i ako gledaš na svoju ženu, and you're making voliš decisions je, what's based on what's best for her, i ako donosiš odluke u tom skladu uh, šta je najbolje za nju, it, it will make it a lot easier for her to be submissive to you. Bit će mnogo lakše i za nju da bude pokorna tebi. Now it doesn't give the husbands the choice to be loving when she's not loving. Ali to ne daje muškarcu izbor da, da voli ukoliko ona ne voli. Sometimes we say, well I'm not going to do my job because she's not doing her job or I'm not going to do my job because he's not doing his job. Ja ponekad kažemo ja neću da radim moj posao zato što ona ne radi svoj posao. That to me is like my children. To je kao moja deca. You know that's how they act among themselves you know oh, I'm not going to it's her fault no it's her fault no it's his fault no, it's to je kao kad se deta sađe a ti si kriv ti si kriv neću da radim neću da radim have you ever had to try to distinguish you know who is right and wrong with your kids pokušali ste nekad da odlučite ko je u pravu ko nije među decom I'm just going to spank you both i najbolje onda da ih oboje malo but it wasn't my fault. Well, then that spanking for you is going to be for all the stuff you got away with in the past. Nije moja bila krivica, međutim bolje je sa oboje, da ne bi slučajno prošlo sa krivicom. You know, because he's so hard, you know, he said, she said, On je rekao, ti si rekao, vrlo je teško. What's, who's, well, who, somebody just needs to be the right, do, do the right thing. Neko treba da uradi pravu stvar, ispravnu stvar. Somebody needs to be the example and, and, and Peter talks about that to ne, the wives. Neko treba da bude primer, on govori to ženama. Petar govori to ženama. You know, just be that quiet and gentle woman of God. <laughs> budi, budi dakle ta uh, tiha i dobra žena. And maybe your husband will respond Boga. to that and be a witness, maybe you know even to the unbelieving husband get saved. I onda će i onda će čak i neverujući muž mo, mo, može da se spasi. Or if you're the husband just love her anyway and maybe she will respond she'll start responding to your love. I ako si muž voli je pod bilo iz bilo kog znači bez obzira na sve i ona će početi da odgovara na tvoju ljubav. I mean sometimes you know um, Balkan husbands have a reputation don't they? <laughs> Balkanski muževi imaju reputaciju zar ne? Genoa. Geno. Tamo kafu. Ajde, daj mi kafu. Daj mi pivo. Daj mi pivo. Daj mi cipule. Give me my shoes. Give me my beard. Give me my coffee. Daj mi ljubav. Give me love. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's, you, 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 they bark orders. They, you know. Prosto zapovedaju. Naređenja. That's not a wife. That is a servant. To nije žena, to je sluga. Rob. You know you don't um, treat your wife like a servant. I don't read that. Let me find that. It's not here. Nije to ovdje napisano, nema toga ovdje. It says lover. Ovdje piše da je volim. Oh. Ah, čekaj. You know, I can't treat her like a servant? Ne mogu da je prevarim da bude kao sluga. Can't treat her like a slave? Ne mogu da je tretiram kao da je sluga, kao rob. Well, that's your choice, but you'll ruin your marriage. 
Ali to jeste tvoj izbor, ali onda ćeš uništiti svoj brak. And if you don't ruin your marriage, you'll ruin your wife. <laughs> Ako ne uništiš svoj brak, uništit ćeš svoju ženu. You'll break her and she'll be miserable. Slomićeš i bit će mi- mizerna, bit će bedna. So we need to love our wives. Treba da volimo svoje žene. And it's hard, you know, um, it's hard to do these things consistently. I know that. To je teško raditi konzistentno, stalno. Sometimes we do them better than others. Ponekad smo bolji nego drugi. Sometimes we fall. Ponekad padnemo. Sometimes I think the Bible says for women to respect their husbands because they have a tendency not to respect them. Ponekad mislimo da žene treba da poštuju muškarce zato jer imaju tendenciju da ih ne poštuju. Sometimes I think it says husbands love your wives because we have a tendency maybe not to love them. Ponekad je očigledno da im, o, treba da govori nam se da ljubimo svoje žene jer imamo so tendenciju Paul's da ih ne ljubimo. So Paul taking his opportunity to take these men and go, "Hey, wake up." I onda Pavel uzima priliku i ode i kaže malo na šamara muškarca. Ovako ti treba da budeš glava svoje ženi. Tako treba da budeš muš svoje ženi. Verse. That's 28 and 29. 28 29. Tako su dužni muževi ljubiti svoje žene kao svoje telesa, jer koji ljubi svoju ženu, samo ga sebe ljubi. Jer niko ne omrznu kad na svoje telo, nego ga hrani i greje kao i gospod crkvu. And I love this because now, you know, it gets real practical. Ja ovo volim, zato je ovo stvarno vrlo praktično. Guy, mind, Muškarci su malo ovaj, spori sa shvatanjem. Well, I really know how to love. I don't know what that means, you know. Ne znam kako da volim, treba mi neku I'm trying, I'm trying. Well, this is what this is how this is what it means. If, if, if you need a little bit more explanation. I ako ti treba možda malo više razumevanja, malo više objašnjenja, evo ti tačno šta treba da radiš. Take care of her the same way you want to be taken care of. That's what he's saying there. Brini se o njoj kao što bi ti volao da se neko brine o tebi. You know, the things that you want, give to your wife. Stvari koje ti hoćeš, daj tvoje ženi. You know, um, nobody ever hates himself, so we take care of ourselves pretty well. Niko sebe zapravo ne mrzi i mi se dosta dobro brinemo o sebi. Right, we get up and we take care of ourselves, brush our zubs and... <laughs> ustenemo, ustenemo, peremo svoje zube. <laughs> So you you know just get up and then take Usteneš. your wife and brush her so you know Zenio Perez Zube Comb our hair let me comb your hair honey Oh Chester send the new Chester Oh I want so I'm going to go make some breakfast for me and make you breakfast Ona napravim doručak sebi pa onda napravim njoj doručak Just think if 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 you go and make your wife like like when I make my wife breakfast or when I make my wife coffee Kad moja ženi pravim doručak ili kafu She just um, smiles. Ona se samo nasme. <laughs> I got her flowers once. Do, dobio sam cveće jedno. <laughs> well, actually, more than once, but I did um, not just once, but uh, just one time in particular. Jednom, jednom posebno. <laughs> you know, I had him sent. She was working at, at the same place. I was at the conference center, and I was in my office, and she was in her office. She was ja sam working. bio u conference centru u mojoj kancelari, ona je bila u njene kancelari. She wasn't my secretary, she was somebody else's secretary. Nije bilo moja sekretarica, nego nečija druga, tuđa sekretar. She, doesn't, she wouldn't work for me. Ne bi radila za mene, sigurno. <laughs> and so I had flowers sent to her office. Ja sam je postala cveće. And I could see, I opened, I, I lifted my head up from my desk and I looked out the window and I saw Zhuzha running outside to my office. Video sam je kako je ovaj krenula da trči do moje kancelarije. She was just like a little teenager running, you know. Bila je kao trčala. And she ran into my office and oh, you utrčala got me flowers. Si cveće. You know, so those little acts of kindness, if you just do them, it'll work. It, it, it works. Ta mala dela, nežna, ona, ona stvarno deluju. I ako prestanemo da budemo polarizovani, ne, prestanemo. Do čekamo dok onaj drugi povuče right korak. Ti uradi ono što Bog hoće od tebe da uradiš, ono dobru stvar. The adult in the marriage. Neko mora da bude odrastao zapravo u braku. And I do a lot of marriage counseling and I know man they just we act we have a tendency to act like little kids. No it's my, my fault it's her fault. No it's not my fault it's her. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> ja ja radim to savetovanje za brakove stvarno vidim ljude kao da su deca i stalno to ko je kriv tvoja krivica ti si no, kriv ja sam kriv nije no, on kriv. No it's both of your faults. Oboje ste krivi. It takes two to tango we say. Po, potrebno je dvoje za tango, se you know, kaže. You, you can't tango by yourself. Ne možeš sam da plešeš tango. And then we have 
this idea that this oneness is a mystery, but he really is referring to Jesus and the church. I onda kaže Pavle, uh, ovo jedinstvo je misterija, ali on kaže, ja ovdje zapravo govorim o Hristu i o crkvi. So, the marriage relationship dakle, bračni odnos is the most intimate relationship on planet Earth among humans. Je najintimniji mogući odnos na planeti Zemlji među ljudima. My wife knows me better than anybody else knows me. Moja žena mene poznaje bolje nego bilo ko drugi. She probably knows me so well. Vrotno me toliko dobro zna. That she wishes she didn't know me that well. Da, da možda želi da me nije tako dobro upoznala. <laughs> you can't help it. We live together, we raise kids together, we you know fight together, we cry together, all of that. To je nemoguće izbeći. Mi živimo zajedno, svađamo se, plačemo, imamo decu zajedno. You know, at the end of the day, you know, she I I let my guards down more with her and let her in more than anybody else. Na kraju dana ja sam spustio moj bokserski gard najniže pred njom i ona je ušla i ona zna sve. There's an intimacy and what he's saying is that's the intimacy intimacy that Jesus wants with you, with us. I tu postoji ta jedna beskrajna intimnost koja je koju Isus hoće da ima sa nama. You know, and um just so you know. Samo da znate. Jesus knows you intimately. Isus vas poznaje intimno, vrlo intimno vas poznaje. And so, if there is a problem in your relationship with Jesus tonight, I dakle, ako imate bilo kakav problem sa od, u odnosu sa Isusom večeras, it is not his fault. To nije njegova krivica. He is there, he's given everything to this relationship. On je dao sve za ovaj odnos. He's held nothing back, he's given his life to the relationship. Nije ništa zadržao za sebe, on je dao život za tebe. And so when we give everything to the relationship, dakle, our relationship with God is as it should be. Dakle kad mi damo sve što imamo Bogu, onda je taj odnos zapravo onako kako bi trebao da bude. And I found that if my relationship with God is as it should be. I ja mislim da je moj odnos takav kakav treba da bude sa Bogom. Then I can maybe have a chance of my marriage being as it should be. Dakle ukoliko je moj odnos sa Bogom onako kakav bi trebao da bude, onda će moj odnos u braku biti kakav bi trebao da bude. But if my relationship with God is not as it should be, my marriage will never be as it should be. Međutim, ukoliko moj odnos sa Bogom nije takav kakav bi trebao da bude, onda moj odnos u braku će još manje to da bude. And I won't be the parent that God's called me to be. Ja neću moći biti roditelj za ono što me pozvao Bog da budem takav roditelj. Pogledajte šest, jedan do četiri. Deco, slušajte svoje roditelje u gospodu, jer je ovo pravo. Poštuj oce svojega i mater, ovo je prva zapove sa obećanjem, da ti blago bude i da živiš dugo na zemlji. I vi, očevi, ne razdražujte dece svoje, nego i gajite u nauci i u strahu gospodnjem. Uskoro ćemo završiti. So, parenting. Dakle, roditeljstvo. How do you be a parent? Kako da budeš roditelj? How do we raise kids? Kako odgajamo decu? You know the children this generation they're being raised in a crooked and perverse generation. Uh, uh, deca su generacija koja su uh, uh, odgajana da budu uh, pokvarena i slomljena generacija. It was a, when I was young it was pretty perverse. Kad sam ja bio mlad, bilo je dosta perverzno. Rekao je perverzna generacija. Kada sam ja bio dete, kada smo mi odrastili, imali smo greh. Niko nas nije morao učiti grehu. Naša generacija je bila vrlo grešna. Droge. 60-ih je bila tako kao slobodna ljubav, hippie pokret. You know, but this generation now, this is a crooked, this is a sinful generation. Ali ova generacija danas je vrlo, vrlo grešna generacija. There is promiscuity. Postoji taj promiskuitet. There are drugs. I, I understand that drugs is becoming a real problem in Serbia. Drugi su postali vrlo velik problem u Srbiji, koliko sam shvatio. Heroin is getting into all these countries now that it was. Heroin u svim ovim zemljama. People are becoming, young people are becoming addicted to it. Mladi su postali ovisni u heroinu. So how do we be godly parents? Kako da postanemo božanstveni roditelji u skladu sa Božom voljom? My son is now 19 years old. Moj sin je sad ima 19 godina. He was born right over here in Subotica, Bolnica. Rođen je ovdje u bolnici u Subotici. My girls are 16 and 13. Moje devojke su 16 i 13. And you know, 
I have my philosophy of raising kids. Ja imam svoju filozofiju odgajanja dece. Not everybody agrees with my philosophy. Ne slažem se svako s mojom filozofijom. But you know, I I've seen a lot of pastors' children. I see. I've seen a lot of pastors' kids. Vidio sam decu od mnogih pastora. You know, and they're raised in a bubble. Oni su odgajani u prosto u jednom staklenom zvonu. They're raised, you know, um, a lot of even in the states they homeschool their kid. Everyone home. They're odgajani su čak u privatnim školama, išli su u privatne škole. And then when they get older, then they get the freedom. I onda kad postanu stari, onda odjednom dobiju tu slobodu. A u stvari nikad ne nauče kako da koriste tu slobodu. I jednostavno kada dobiju tu slobodu, onda odjednom samo počne da prelaze granice. So, you know, for me it's a letting them have some freedom as they grow up. Po meni je potrebno da toj deci damo neku slobodu dok odrastaju. But along with the freedom I always explain to them there's a responsibility. Ali zajedno sa slobodom ja im uvijek objašnjavam tu je i odgovornost. And as long as you're responsible with the freedom. Jer ti si odgovoran sa svojom slobodom. You know then you can have more freedom. Jer onda ćeš imati još više slobode. But if you are irresponsible with the freedom. Ali ukoliko si ti neodgovoran sa svojom slobodom then I will take some of that freedom back. Onda ću ja jednostavno da uzmem malo te slobode nazad. You know, I, de- I deal with a lot of young people in um, this ministry that we do. It's called On the Edge. O, mnogo od mladi koji su u toj službi o, o koju imamo na oštrici, On the Edge. They come from broken homes, they come from Christian homes. Dolaze, neki dolaze iz slomljenih brakova, neki dolaze iz hrišćanskih brakova. Across the board and they're... And Prosto preko granica. They get in, it doesn't really matter where... The, they sometimes they just get into trouble. Jednostavno oni bez obzira na koju koju vrstu porodice su odrasli, oni jednostavno samo upadnu u nevolje. And so, you know, you have to pray through how to raise your children. Znači treba da se da se moliš za to kako da odgajiš svoju decu. But I know that we're to um, teach our children and bring them up. Fathers were to bring up our children in the training and admonition of the Lord. I prosto se o tome govori da očevi treba svoju decu da nauče kako da se pokore Bogu. I još više kaže, nemojte da pro, pro, provocirate svoju decu. Nemojte da razdražujete, nemojte da budete previše oštri sa svojom decom. Ja ne znam zašto kada je Joshua bio mali. Možda je running across the floor. Možda, možda je trčao, trčao je preko poda. Ja sam uzeo, uzeo sam jastuk i bacio sam mu pod noge i pao je. Nije se povredio. Jednostavno, ne smemo da ih provociramo da odjednom da se izgube, da polude. And so there's distinct roles for parents as well. To je uloga za, za roditelje. You know, it was always a frustration with Juzha and I when we were young parents. Za mene i za Juzha uvijek bila frustracija dok smo bili mladi roditelji. Because in my mind, Juzha was always like she didn't discipline the kids. Po meni Juzha nije uopšte disciplinovala decu. And I was always, I would always, always I would always get on her. You got to be more, you know, tougher on him. You got to discipline him. You got to they walking all over you. I stalno sam na neki način napadao i govorio sam oni te gaze, moraš da ih disciplinaš, moraš malo više da da budeš stroža prema njima. And Juzha would get frustrated with me, bro, you're too hard on him. You got to lighten up a little bit. A Juzha je stalno bila frustrirana na mene, ajde malo popusti, ajmo biti strog. And then we came across this passage in 1 Thessalonians. I onda smo naišli na ovo na ovo na ovaj na ovo poglavlje u prvoj Solunjani. This really helped Juzha and I. I to nam je vrlo pomoglo. Because Paul the apostle said he, he kind of described his ministry when he was there in Thessalonica. I, jer Pavle ovdje opisuje svoju službu dok je bio u Solunu. In chapter 2 verse 7 he says of first Thessalonians he said yes. but we were gentle among you just as a nursing mother cherishes her own children. Mogli smo vam biti na dosadu kao Hristovi apostoli, ali bili smo krotki među vama kao što dojlica neguje svoju decu. And you know I remember Jesus was 
how tender she was with their kids, especially when they're younger, you know, the mother's love. I sećam se kako Žuža bila vrlo nežna prema deci dok su posebno dok su bila mala. And then in chapter 2 verse 11, i onda u drugom uh, poglavlju 11. stih. It says as you know how we exhorted and comforted and charged every one of you as a father does his own children. Kao što znate da svakog od vas kao otac detu svoju moli smo i tešava smo i svedoči smo vam da živite kao što se pristoji Bogu. And all of a sudden it made sense to us. I odjednom je to sve imalo smisla za nas. That we were just the parents that God wanted us to be. Jer mi smo zapravo bili baš takvi roditelji kako je Bog htio da budemo. That she was a, 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 che, a mother who cherished her kids and gentle among them. Ma, ona je bila majka koja je bila vrlo nežna, koja ih je čuvala svoj dečak. And she is supposed to be that. I ona je to trebala da bude. Mother. Kao majka. And I'm supposed to be the father, the one that charges them, maybe a little bit more of a disciplinary. A ja sam bio otac koji treba malo više discipline, da bude strože. And so we were just what God wanted us to be in, in these two influences on our kids' lives. I mi smo upravo bili ono što je Bog teo, ta dva uticaja, te dve influence na, na našu decu. And so dečku. kids get gypped when um, they don't have both parents in the home. I bio bi problem da deca nisu imala obo roditelja. Yeah, they, a, a, children, a child needs both parents for And so, that's the way God has created it. And then, as we move on, we'll close this section. You can read uh, 5 through 9. I onda da završimo sa šesticom 5 do 9. Sluge, slušajte gospodare svoje po telu sa strahom i drhtanjem u prostoti srca svoga kao i Hrista. Ne samo pred očima radići kao ljudima da ugađate, nego kao sluge Hristove tvoreći volju Božiju od srca. Dragovoljno služite kao gospodu, a ne kao ljudima. Znajući da svaki što učini dobro, ono će i primiti od gospoda bio rob ili slobodnjak. I vi, gospodari, tako činite njima ostavljajući pretnje. Znajući da je i vama samijem i njima gospoda na nebesima i on ne gleda ko je ko. So, you know, we don't have in our culture slaves and masters anymore. Mi u našoj kulturi više nemamo robove i gospodare. But we surely do have employees, employer relationships. Ali imamo za uposlenike i one poslodavce. And the principles that are in this passage can be applied to employee, employer relationships. I principi koji su u ovom delu se primenjuju na taj odnos poslodavca i posloprimca. You know, I'm the director at the conference center. Znači, znate, ja sam direktor konferenc centra. Right I sad imamo sto zaposlenih. I forget that they look at me as the director. Ja zaboravim ponekad da oni gledaju na mene kao direktora. Because I don't always look at myself as the I don't come into the room I have the directors here. Jer ja često ne dođem sa tom ulogom, ja sam sad direktor, znate. I walk in the room and hey, Rod's here, you know what I mean? Ja dođem, Rod the plumber, e, I still view myself in evo mind ga, evo like ga, that. Rod, ja sam još uvek mislim o sebi da sam zanat, ja Rod. But it's always funny when I walk in somewhere and they're standing and they're standing around when they should be working. Ja recimo uđem negde, oni umesto da rade, oni stoje oko. You know, I don't think of it, but they do. Ja ne mislim o tome, ali oni misle o tome. When I walk in and they're, and they're standing around and ja uđem, they should be working, stoji, da rade, or they're talking, pričaju, na primjer, or better yet when they're texting, ili kad šalju tekstalne poruke, SMS-ove, that's always fun. to je uvijek interesantno. And then watching them, oh, 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 brzo, brzo i sakriju telefon. You know? <laughs> and so much, so much of our lives is to be seen by men i so we just do things for eyes when people are looking jer mnogi zapravo mi stvari radimo da, da ugodimo ljudima šta će ljudi reći kako nas vide but for the christian we do it as unto the lord ali za hrista mi u hristu mi zapravo radimo za gospoda we do our jobs as unto the lord we should be model employees and, mi zapravo ne treba da imamo taj model zaposlenika mi služimo bogu we Bogu. should be model employers if we have employees iako smo za oni koji daju posao drugima mi treba da isto you know, lording, lording it over our employees but you know serving our employees mi, mi zapravo jesmo gospodari nad svojim zaposlenicima, ali mi njima služimo. That's how I view my job. You know, I have all these employees and I need to give them everything that they need. That's what I feel like my ministry is to give them everything that they need so they can do their job. Ja imam uposlenike, ali moje posao zapravo da im dam sve što im je potrebno da bi mogli da rade svoj posao. If you want to be great in God's kingdom, you got to become the servant of all, right? Ti u suštini treba da kažeš da im budeš sluga. So I need to serve these people. I need to make sure they have the tools 
Ja treba prosto da im obezbedim alate, da im obezbedim sredstvo, da im obezbedim obuku ako im je potrebno. Znači, želim sve da vas ohrabim da ne radimo svoj posao, samo da ugodimo očima, da nas vide spolja, nego da radimo kao za Boga da bi bilo blagoslovljeni. I onda ćemo biti blagoslovljeni od Boga. I on će nas blagosloviti. Crvi? Ne možeš jednostavno da daš više nego što Bog može da da. Mnogo više, što više daješ, što više daješ, koliko više služiš druge ljude, koliko manje misliš o tome šta bi ti mogo da izvučeš iz toga, koliko više razmišljaš o tome šta bi ti mogo da daš u tu situaciju. Ja sam imao naviku da dolazim u crkvu da primam. Ja uopšte više ne idem u crkvu da primam. Naravno, ja primam, ali ne idem zbog toga da primam. Moj um uopšte više nije u tom pravcu da idem, a to je sve o meni, moram da primim. Ja idem zato u crkvu da bih pomogao drugima. Ja recimo hoću da pomogu ljudima koji su zarobljeni u grehu da izađu iz greha. Ja hoću da oni odrastu u duhu da bi njihovi duhovni plodovi mogli da se manifestuju u njihovim životima. Ja hoću da oni odrastu u duhu da bi njihovi duhovni plodovi mogli da se manifestuju u njihovim životima. Ja hoću da oni odrastu u duhu da bi njihovi duhovni plodovi mogli da se manifestuju u njihovim životima. Ja hoću da oni odrastu u duhu da bi njihovi duhovni plodovi mogli da se manifestuju u a mi svi tako treba i da idemo. Prvo dolazimo da bismo primali, da rastemo, ali posle mi treba da dolazimo u crkvu da dajemo drugima. Ponekad crkva postane dosadna jer si ti prepun, pun si. Možda pomisliš na primjer, u, ja sam već čovječe studirao ovu knjigu u Feženima. I've heard Bible studies before. Well, maybe God doesn't want you to come just to hear the Bible studies for you anymore. Maybe He wants to come so you can minister to other people. Prosto ti si već čuo biblijske studije, ali Bog možda više neće da ti dolaziš u crku da slušaš biblijsku studiju, nego da ti služiš drugima. Be on the lookout. Where where's the hurting sheep? Ajde da idemo da vidimo gde je ta ovca koja je bolesna. Come to church. Who can I pray for tonight? Za koga bih mogao da se molim večeras? Who needs? Oh, I think I think they're going through something. Let me go alongside them. Mislim da sam sad na površnoj strani. Možda bi neko trebao da se moli za mene, da stavim ruku na nekog. I onda daješ Bogu da te koristi. Njegova se ljubav prosto kanališe kroz tebe prema drugim ljudima. 